Hello learners, welcome to Hortimens channel. In this video, we are going to learn how commercially the brinjal plants is grafted on turkey berry plants using grafting clips. When you graft brinjal plants on turkey berry plants, the brinjal plants will survive up to 5 years and gives more yield and shows good resistance to pests and diseases. So at the end of this video, you will get the entire process of grafting brinjal plants on turkey berry plants. So please watch the video until end. And if you want turkey berry seeds and brinjal seeds, you can buy it in Amazon. I have given the Amazon link in the description of this video. Please check it out. So let's dive into the video. The one which you are seeing here is 25 days old brinjal seedlings, which I grown in pro trays. And this one is 35 days old turkey berry seedlings. These also grown in pro trays. Now I am going to graft these turkey berry seedlings with the brinjal seedlings. For grafting, we mainly need three things. One is sharp knife and the next one is sterilized gloves. If you don't have sterilized gloves, you can use your bare hands. But please clean your hands with hand sanitizer before grafting. And the final one is silicon grafting clips. These are 2.5 mm silicon grafting clips. These are suitable for grafting 2.5 mm with seedlings. So these grafting clips will not suitable for grafting big seedlings. You can buy it in Amazon or in Flipkart. Before watching the full video, I will simply explain how grafting is made. For that, you have to trim the rootstock slantingly at 45 degree angle, leaving 1 inch from the media. Then, insert half of the grafting clip into the rootstock, like this. After, insert the scion for the remaining half of the grafting clip, so that the grafting clip holds both the rootstock and scion firmly. While inserting the scion, make sure the slanting cuts of both the rootstock and scion is matched so that the grafting success rate is more. Now I will elaborately tell you how the actual grafting is made. I am going to trim nearly 25 turkey berry seedlings. Trim the turkey berry seedlings leaving 1 inch from the media. While trimming, give 45 degree angle slant cuts. These turkey berry seedlings are used as rootstock. Now I am inserting half of the grafting clips into the rootstocks. I had already told you these are 2.5 mm with silicone grafting clips. So these grafting clips are suits well for 2.5 mm seedlings. Hence, both the rootstock and scion must be in 2.5 mm width so that the grafting clip holds them firmly and makes the grafting successful. If you want to graft bigger seedlings, you can buy 4 mm and 6 mm grafting clips which is also available in Amazon. This is how grafting is made in commercial nurseries. You can see here how the grafting clip is holding the rootstock firmly. In the remaining half of the grafting clip, I am going to insert the scion. Now I am going to take the scion from the brinjal seedlings. Trim the brinjal seedlings by giving a downward slanting cut leaving 2 inch from the top of the seedlings. So this is how the scion is taken out from the brinjal seedlings. Now I am inserting the scion into the remaining half of the grafting clip. Now I am supporting the grafted seedlings using sticks. Here I am using toothpicks. You can use any sticks which is easy available for you. Doing like this make the seedlings to stand firmly. Please note, you should match the slanting cuts of both the scion and rootstock inside the grafting clips like this so that the grafting success rate is more. After grafting, place the 
crafted pro trays inside the cardboard box then water it and cover them entirely with white polythene cover and place it inside the 50% shared net house. After 8 to 10 days, the grafting get united and the seedlings will get established. You can see here the cyan is healthy. Here the cambium layers of both the cyan and rootstock is get regenerated. I am going to open it to show you. Yes, the scion is get held by the rootstock with the help of regenerated cambium layers. Leave the protrace open for 5 days in the sunlight to make harden the seedlings. After 5 days, you can transplant them in the direct soil or you can transplant them in the grow bags. Here I am transplanting nearly 5 seedlings in the grow bags to show you how it will bear fruits. After 60 days, the grafted plants will grow like this and the grafted area will be like this. Once the seedlings get established in the soil, you can remove the grafting clip. After 60 days, the plants will start to give flowering. After 80 to 90 days of transplanting, the brinjal fruits comes to harvest. The main use of grafting brinjal plants with turkey berry plants is the grafted brinjals gives more yield and shows good resistance to pests and diseases and mainly the plants survive up to 5 years. This is how grafting is made in commercial nurseries. Once again I am telling that if you want turkey berry seeds and brinjal seeds you can buy it in Amazon. I have given the link of Amazon in the description of this video and if you liked this video please hit the like button. And if you want more videos like this, do subscribe for my channel and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.